mention that you want to access Kubernetes offline from your laptop for learning or for quick testing purpose. But at same time, you don't want to put so much pressure on your system resources such as CPU, RAM and disk. Also you're new to Kubernetes and you might want to start something with less complex. So what is your go-to option then? Hello and welcome to Minikube. So in next few minutes, I'll try my best to get you up to speed on what is Minikube and how to install and configure Kubernetes cluster using Minikube. Before you watch this video, it is required to have a basic understanding of what is Kubernetes and its basic architecture. So without any further delay, let's take a look at the things you'll be learning in this video. First part focuses on discussing what is Minikube and what it does. In second part, we will focus on reviewing the demo we are actually about to do in few minutes. In this, first we will download all three required software apps for this demo. They are VirtualBox, Minikube and KubeCTL. Then we will start the Minikube. And finally, we will do the testing to make sure everything is working as per expectation. Please note, Windows 10 is running on my laptop. I believe it follows a similar process on Mac, but I did not try that. In part 1, we will discuss about what is Minikube and what it does. So what is Minikube? Minikube is a tool which makes it easy to install and run Kubernetes locally on your laptop or on a system. In an earlier Kubernetes architecture video, we talked about different components of Kubernetes that makes up Kubernetes master and the worker nodes, which include API server, HCD, control manager and scheduler on the master node. And whereas we have a kubelet, kubeproxy, container runtime such as Docker on the worker nodes. In case if you have to set up all these components individually by ourselves, then it will be a time consuming process. That's one issue. And the second issue here is you don't want to burn your system resources by creating multiple VMs. In that case, Minikube comes to our rescue. So what Minikube does is it bundles all these different components of Kubernetes into a single ISO image. This ISO image contains a pre-configured single node Kubernetes environment. So to start setting up Kubernetes, all you need is to download Minikube executable and just start it. Then it will automatically download the ISO and create VM inside your virtualization platform such as Oracle VirtualBox or VMware Fusion. So the prerequisite here is you should install at least one type of virtualization platform installed on your system before you start Minikube. So once you have the Kubernetes environment set up, now you need a way to interact and manage the Kubernetes cluster. For that, we need to install another tool called kubectl. So with the kubectl, we can deploy and manage containerized apps. I know we are talking about quite a few things here. So let me make it clear for you. First, you need to have a virtual box installed on your laptop. It is available online for free. Then you download the Minikube executable and start it. Now it is Minikube's responsibility to download and set up Kubernetes. So once the Kubernetes is set up, then we download and install the kubectl command line utility to interact with Kubernetes. So these are the three things that we need to download and install in the overall process. They are VirtualBox, Minikube and kubectl. I hope it is clear now. Now moving on to the part 2. Now in this part 2, we will focus on reviewing the demo we are actually about to do in few minutes. In this, we will first download all three required software apps for this demo. They are VirtualBox, Minikube and kubectl. Then we will start the Minikube. We will do the testing to make sure everything is working as per expectations. So let's get started. First, we will install the hypervisor. 
In our case, we will install the VirtualBox for Windows because it is free and most widely used. You can also use VMware Fusion if you want. In case if you don't have the VirtualBox installed on your system, then just please go ahead and install it. It is available free on virtualbox.org website. So once we are done with VirtualBox, next thing is Minikube. First, let's go ahead and create the directory for Kubernetes under C drive. You can do that manually or from command prompt like this. And now, you can go ahead and download the Minikube Windows AMD64 executable from GitHub location mentioned here. Once the download is complete, you can place that executable file in the Kubernetes directory that we just created above. So to make it easy, you can rename this Minikube Windows AMD64 as just Minikube for a comfortable purpose. Now we have one last thing to download and that is kubectl. We can use curl command to download the kubectl executable to Kubernetes directory as shown here. So you have now downloaded all three executables, VirtualBox, Minikube and kubectl. As shown in the screenshot, I guess you have placed the kubectl and Minikube executable in the Kubernetes directory in C drive. Since we have all three required tools in place, the only pending thing currently we have now is starting Minikube. Let's go ahead and do that. So now to start Minikube, all you need to do is add start at the end of minikube.exe as shown in the picture. So once you start the Minikube, Minikube will automatically download the ISO image. This ISO image consists of Kubelet and Kubedium. Once this download is complete, then Minikube will create new Kubernetes VM on VirtualBox and then configures the Kubernetes and starts the Kubernetes cluster components. Once all that is finished, you will see the Minikube VM running on your VirtualBox as shown in the screenshot. All this is done automatically behind the scenes. Just to make sure, let's display the nodes inside the cluster and make sure if they are ready status or not. So for that to know, we need a help of kubectl command line tool to interact with cluster. So kubectl get nodes command will display the nodes inside the cluster. From the output we can see there is one minikube node which is successfully running and in ready state. So the point to note here is minikube acts as a Kubernetes master as well as worker node on which we can create containers on top of it. Now let's do a some more testing by deploying an application. So to make sure our Minikube cluster setup is configured correctly, let's do a some testing by, de by deploying sample application in next slide. First thing we'll do here is to check the status of Minikube. So to find out that, I need to execute Minikube status command from the command prompt inside the Windows OS that I'm on. Please note, it is required to be in the location where the binaries are located. In this case, it is Kubernetes folder inside the C drive. So once you execute this Minikube status command, here is the output you will get. You can see the Minikube and cluster is running successfully and also kubectl is correctly configured and pointing to Minikube VM at the IP address. So to check the version of Minikube, we'll use the Minikube version command. In our test, Minikube version is vo.28.2. Now let's try to deploy a sample application to see if there are any issues with creating it. So to create a sample deployment, we will use the kubectl run command. If the execution completed successfully, you will see the following output. We will use the kubectl get command to display the pods which are created as part of this deployment. As you can see, there is one pod which is created and running successfully. Let's try one more command before we end this testing. And that is stop minikube. We can do that using minikube stop command. Once it is executed successfully, then you will see the output below. And also 
Minikube VM will move from running to stopped state, as you see in the screenshot. So based on above testing, everything looks great and working as expected. Coming to the summary, in part one, we discussed about what is Minikube and what it does. As we discussed, Minikube is a tool which makes it easy to install and run Kubernetes locally on your system. So before we install Minikube, first we need to install the hypervisor such as VirtualBox or the VMware Fusion. Then we downloaded Minikube and started it. From there, it took care of all the download, install, configure and started all required Kubernetes services for us. So now to deploy and manage containerized app on Kubernetes, we have downloaded and installed kubectl for it. So in sum, we have downloaded and installed three software apps, VirtualBox, Minikube and kubectl. But we never had to deal with installing and configuring Kubernetes anywhere because that was taken care by the Minikube. So coming to the second part, we reviewed the demo. First, we downloaded all three required software apps for this demo. They are VirtualBox, Minikube and kubectl. Then we started the Minikube. And finally, to test, we deployed a sample application to make sure is everything is working as per expectations. And it did work. So that's all about the Minikube and coming up next, the actual demo of Minikube where we will perform the exact steps that we just discussed in the review demo section. And finally, thank you so much for watching this and hope to see you in the next video.